Tip five is master the new dynamic arrays and new Excel calculation engine. Hmm. New Excel dynamic arrays. What do I mean by dynamic arrays, right? So, so this is future. I call this future Excel, right? So this is, is future Excel, uh, Excel for the future. And I can tell you it's super, super, super amazing. Yeah, future, future Excel. Uh, because Excel has fundamentally changed how how it works, how Excel works has really been fundamentally changed by including certain things called dynamic arrays. So I'd advise that you go learn what they are, Google it, check it out. I mean, there are many people who have done stuff already on, on dynamic arrays. You can see how they work and stuff. So it, it's really, it's really cool. Yeah, so check it out. Um, let me let me show you a little bit, just a very little bit. We don't have much time. So I'll just show you a little bit of what I mean by dynamic arrays and the new calculation engine. Okay, so dynamic arrays. Remember what I said about reporting, right? So I said reporting, I said when you're using Excel, they're really, um, how will I put it? They're, they're really three, two things you need. You need you need past data. You're either doing something in the with past data, or you're doing something for the future, or you're trying to forecast the future. Those are the two main things we, we do in Excel. So if I'm using dynamic arrays, really I'm building uh, more things I think to do with the past, but again, it's just a technique for working, which is so efficient. Take it that what Excel has done with this new calculation engine, which really has fully been uh, released in August. So if you have the August version of uh, Office 365, if you have August Office 365, you will have these dynamic arrays working, right? So what exactly are they? Well, Excel has completely fundamentally changed how it works. Yeah. How, just take it that maybe Excel is like, I always say, a 30 story building. And someone has just held that building up, gone to the foundations, removed the foundations, and put in a new foundation while the building is still standing. That's exactly what has happened to Excel. The foundations have been rip, ripped apart and put back, and the new foundation is smoking hot, excellent. Right? So I'll give you a simple task, very simple. I'll just do one something that we do a lot. So for example, I have a report and I want people to be able to pick uh, maybe these markets, right? I want people to be able to automatically pick markets from a list. So the first thing I will do is I'll go to my control sheet and I'll create a, a list of, of markets, right? I wanted a list of unique list of markets. So in old Excel, I'll do this. I'll come to be a copy. I go to control. I come and I paste, maybe I paste special values here or something. Right, then I paste, once I paste it, I will now remove duplicates. So I go to data, I then go to um, this button here, which is remove duplicates, and I say okay, and guess what? It says remove duplicates, perfect, look at them. So this is a nice list of unique values, yes? But these unique values are static. If you look at the formula bar, they are static. So look at what the new dynamic arrays help us do. So there are uh, if I'm not mistaken, six formulas, I think. There are like six new formulas. I must have written them somewhere. Uh, let me think. I think, okay, they're not here. So anyway, I think there are six new formulas. So one of them, one of the key ones, six or seven, I'm not too sure. So unique is one of the new formulas. So these are dynamic array. Uh, so returns the unique values from a range or array. Unique is one of the new uh, functions. So if I tab, what does unique require? It says array by column across ones. Hmm. So you see, these are optional. So I'm just gonna do the simple one. It's just array, right? So what do you mean? Unique, I'm writing a formula in a cell, guys. So I go to data. Now, since this is a table, I can just highlight it like this. So you can see this is unique sales market. I close my bracket. And remember, this is a formula in a cell. And I enter. Guess what? Look at what it did. It just drops all the values, it just spills it, look at it. So I don't need to do that copy paste and remove duplicates and blah, blah, blah. And I did that in a single cell. These cells here, you can see it's kind of grayed out. This is the formula. So this is an array formula that spills. So if I come here and kind of write something to kind of disturb the spill, I enter, you see it's, hey, it's complaining. There's an error message, I can't spill, right? So the thing is with this engine is, even your normal Excel functions are now array functions, okay? So if I do equals to, right? Uh, I mean, 
typically I do equals to and highlight this. This doesn't make sense. Really doesn't make sense. In old Excel, it would give me an error, but look at that. I wrote a formula, I said equals to, and then I just highlighted certain things. In old Excel, you will never, you will get an error message, right? Yeah, but there's something called implicit, uh, there's, there's, there's um, uh, well, in old Excel, you get an error message if it's not in the same line. So let's say enter, and I, I see it spill. So everything kind of spills in, old, in the new Excel. If it sees, hey, this is a list that this guy wants to return, it will spill. And this opens up so many doors, so, so many doors. For example, I, I could do a data validation for market here. So for example, I want to do a data validation for market, right? Right. So in here, I want a drop down for data validation for market. All I need to do is go into data. I go to data validation, right? So when I go to data validation, I say a list, and in old Excel, I need to make this a dynamic list and you know, I'll do all sorts of stuff to make a dynamic list. All I need to do is click on this first cell, which I know has, um, um, I, right now it's saying, it's saying market, right? So, so I don't know why it's saying market. I think I named it market. So um, let me, I don't want to name it market. I want to show you something else without it being called market. Let me just, let me just delete all of this, uh, all of these names in here, just delete, delete, select all. Okay, let's just go to market. Let me just delete, uh, who do you delete them? Some of them may not be deleted. Yeah, I know that. So let me just delete what I want to delete. So yeah, everything's deleted except that. Close, great. So what I want to show you is this, I come here. I remember the formula was in here, right? Not anywhere else, the formula was in here. So I come to this cell, I say data, I go to data validation, and then I go to list. And here I say this cell that contains my array, and then there's a new thing you put at the end is, is the pound key or the hash button. So you just put a hash there and say, okay. Now, when you do that, what that hash does, it makes it, it, it tells it, hey, this is an array and fill is, fills it out. So if I, if I come to a cell here, right? Come to a cell and say equals to, right? I come to this cell and I enter, you see it's just this. But if I say equals to and I come to this cell and then I put the hash sign, right? And I enter, what does it do? It spills. So because it knows that this is an array, this formula here is an array, that hash, which is just a new way of working, right? It's what spills it. It's what says, hey, give me the full array. I know this cell returns an array. Give me the full array. That's what hash does. So you need to learn the way this works. And there are many other functions. The sort, I will just give you one more. For example, I can add another new function here. And what it does is it sorts. So if I say sort and I open my bracket, I say, hey, I'm going to sort using a function. So I enter, guess what? It has sorted, automatically sorted the list. And if I come to my data and add a new market, let's say I'm adding David as the market, right? And I'm adding uh, uh, Gupta as another market, Gupta, yeah, say so Gupta. So I put David and Gupta right now. So David and Gupta is in my list. Makes no sense, I know, but uh, let's uh, go to control. And guess what? Can you see David, right? See David in the list, automatically added. Of course, you don't see David in this list. This list is not dynamic. Uh, where's Gupta? See Gupta, right? So these are dynamic arrays, super, super stuff in new Excel. Let's jump to our next tip.